All right, what's going on guys? This is Jake and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and set up your Shopify shipping rates within your store. Getting right into it, the first thing you want to go ahead and do here is go into the back end of your store, click settings, and then come over here to shipping and delivery. And once we open this up here, we're going to see that we have an error page right here because we have no actual shipping rate set up. So we're gonna go ahead and set up some now. So all we have to do is come over here under shipping and the first thing we're going to do here is manage rates. Now we can also create custom shipping rates with different shipping profiles, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do that later. So the first thing we're gonna do here is just click on manage rates and we're gonna go ahead and open this up and then we'll see a list of all of our products in our store right here and we'll see that all these products are added to this profile so this general profile right here includes all of the products in our store so these shipping rates will apply to our entire store so we can see down here we have two sections here we have domestic shipping so this is to your home country so in this case for me it's the united states and then we have the rest of the world so we're gonna go ahead and start off with domestic shipping rates first so we're going to go ahead and click on add rate. So there's two different ways that we can add rates here. So we can set up our own rates or we can use a carrier to calculate rates. So first I'm going to show you how you can set up your own and then we'll go through the calculated rates next. So as far as setting up our own rate goes, first thing we can go ahead and do here is select a shipping speed right here. So we can choose the estimated shipping speed here that we're going to be sending our packages out with or we could go ahead and choose custom flat rate with no shipping time, but I would recommend go ahead and choosing the shipping speed that's going to closely match that service in which you are going to be using. And then right here, we can go ahead and edit the actual price of this shipping rate. So let's say we just wanted to have a flat $10 shipping fee on all orders for shipping to the US, we could go ahead and do that and we'd be done. But let's say we wanted to go ahead and add some conditions to this. We can go ahead and click add conditions here. And then we can go ahead and see here that we can go ahead and edit our shipping prices based on the actual item weight or based on the order price. So let's say we wanted to go ahead and have $10 shipping rate for orders that are all 10 pounds and below. I could go ahead and click done. And now we can see right here that all orders that total 10 pounds and below will be ten dollars to ship now let's go ahead and add another one here so if i went ahead and added another one another standard rate here now let's say in this case it's twenty dollars and the condition for this could be 11 pounds and up so this would mean all order weights whenever a customer places an order if their order weight is between zero and ten pounds then they will pay ten dollars for shipping but if it's 11 pounds or more, then they will pay $20 for shipping. So that's just one example of how you can go ahead and use the conditions to edit your shipping rates. Another common one here is a free shipping rate based on order value. So let's say we have this price here is free and we add the condition and we base this on order price. So let's say here we wanted to do free shipping on all orders of $50 or more. We could put in 50 as the minimum price and click done. So now anytime our customer goes to check out and they have more than $50 or more of stuff in their cart, they will be offered a free shipping rate. So that's how you can go ahead and set up your own shipping rates. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual carrier calculated rate. So if I go ahead and click on this here, once this loads up, we can see that we can choose between three different providers. We can use DHL Express, UPS, or USPS. And we, for on each one of these, we will also be getting discounted rates from Shopify shipping. So we can go ahead and just use whichever one that you want to use for your order fulfillment. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just pick USPS and we can select the different services that we wanna go ahead and offer. And depending on the actual customer's address, the weight of the packages and the dimensions of the actual shipping box. This is going to determine which services are available for them and how much they cost. So some common ones here could be, we could offer first class package and priority mail. And like I said, this is going to depend, this is going to vary depending on what you are actually shipping. And when it comes to these calculated shipping rates, one thing that you want to ensure 
is that on your particular product pages, you want to make sure that the product weight is accurate because if the product weight is inaccurate, then your calculated shipping rates are also going to be inaccurate. So if you're going to use calculated rates, make sure that the product weight on each of your product listings is completely accurate. Now, with that said, we can also choose to add a handling fee if we want. So if you want to have a flat handling fee for each order, you can do that by adding, say, a 1% handling fee or a flat handling fee of, say, $5. In this case, I'm going to just go ahead and leave that blank and click Done. So now we've went ahead and added the calculated shipping rate which shows up right here so now that we've added some domestic rates let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the world so as far as adding shipping rates for the rest of the world it's pretty much going to work in the same exact way so we can just go ahead and click add rate and we can once again do the same thing we can either set up our own rates or we can use a carrier to calculate the rates once again now when it comes to international shipping this is where things typically get a bit trickier in the sense that it's going to be a lot more expensive and the prices are going to be a little bit harder to nail down so for international i would recommend using calculated if you can but as far as setting up your own rates you could go ahead and do the same thing as before so you could go ahead and do standard international and let's say that we just wanted all international shipping to be $30 flat no matter what we could just go ahead and click done and we have that in there and let's say we wanted to go ahead and create another one here we could go ahead and use the calculated rates and this would work exactly the same we can go ahead and pick our carrier right here we can go ahead and pick these two right here and then we can go ahead and click done once again so the international rates work pretty much the same as domestic, but let's say that you don't want to ship to the entire world because let's see right now we you can see that this these shipping rates apply to the rest of the world. Let's say you only want to ship to a specific country. So what you can actually do here is come up here to create shipping zone. So in this case, let's say we only wanted to ship to Canada because that's right next to the US. We could go ahead and select Canada and we could name this Canada right here. And we can go ahead and click done. So now we can see we have a rate for domestic United States and we have uh, rates for Canada and we have rates for the rest of the world. So let's go ahead and add a rate for Canada really quickly. So we could just go ahead and add in the calculated rates once again so first class priority international and go ahead and just click done and there we go we have rates to canada and if we don't want to ship to the rest of the world we can go ahead and just go ahead and edit this by clicking delete and now our store only ships to the united states and canada so once again, if you wanted to ship to other countries, you could just create another shipping zone, add in the countries here. You could make it rest the world by default, or you could add specific countries that you want to ship to. So at this point, you could go ahead and just click save, and you're pretty much set up. So now there's just a couple things that I want to go ahead and show you real quick. So if we go back here, now we can create custom shipping rates by creating sh shipping profiles. So we can see that this shipping pro profile right here applies to all products. But let's say we wanted to create a custom shipping profile that only applied to certain products. We could go ahead and click create new profile right here. And we can see that we can name this something. And by default, it says like fragile products. So let's say you have certain products that you want to have certain shipping rules apply to. You could go ahead and... You could go ahead and use that for this and what you could go ahead and do is just name it and then click add products right here and then you can see your products in here and let's say i just wanted to go ahead and add these two laptops in then once again we could come down here click create shipping zone we could go ahead and in this case i'm just going to go to united states and we could go ahead and add a rate to this right here once again and click save and then what we would have right here now is we have general shipping rates applying to all products and then we have this sample profile that we just created right here where we have specific sh shipping rates applying just to these two products now in many cases you're not actually going to need to do this you're just going to be editing your general store-wide 
um, shipping rates, but on the off chance that you do need to set up a custom profile, now you know how to. So at this point, there's only a couple more things we're to look at. So we can see here that if you do want to offer local delivery or local pickup, you can do that on here, but this isn't going to apply to many people, so I'm not going to go over that in this video. So the last thing we're going to check out in this video is the packages right here. So we can see right here that by default we have a sample box, and then I went ahead and added this in as well. So let's say if we go ahead and click on add package, this is how we can go ahead and edit the actual packages that we're going to be using to ship out our products. So let's say in this particular case that sticking with the example here that we already created, let's say that you're selling a lot of a similar product. So in this case, it could be laptops. So we could go ahead and create a box called laptop box. And let's say you're shipping all the laptops in the same box. You can go ahead and just put in the dimensions for this box right here. And then you could go ahead and put the box weight as well. And you want to make sure that you put an accurate box weight because this is going to factor into the calculated shipping cost if you're using that. And you could go ahead and click add package right here to add this package in to your shipping settings. Another thing you can do here is if you were using packaging from a carrier like USPS or UPS, you can go ahead and click this in here. So you can see USPS offers a lot of different flat rate boxes, for example. So let's say you wanted to use priority mail, small flat rate or medium. You can go ahead and select one of these, click add package, and that will go ahead and show up in here. So that's how you can go ahead and add in the different packages and package sizes and details for what you're going to be using to ship out your products. So with that said, that's how you can go ahead and set up all of your shipping settings within your Shopify store. If you did find this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in another video.